Hello everyone, I'm Isadora and I'm an engineer in the Visual Studio Debugger team Microsoft. And my main focus is really hot reload and C sharp, but I always doing a lot of random things around C as well. And for this demo, I'm going to showcase what other amazing developers on my team have been working on as well, which is native step filtering, but on a project level. So for this demo, what I have here is I am GUI, which is an amazing open source library that really just help you uh, to display stuff as an immediate UI helper. Here, what I have is one of the almost documentation really, where they have all these examples on how to use their API uh, and what you can do with it. So for example, here I can do some custom renderings or I can do something which is very, very useful, which is just displaying tables and making them resizable and doing different things around it. So let's say that I'm using this open source library and I want to see what it does. So uh, as a user here, what I can do is actually clone this repo, get started with this demo and just, just try different things around. So the first thing that I'm going to show here, especially for this demo is uh, that's the tables. So let's say that I open here and that I'm going to find out whatever this function does. So my first step as a uh, debugger uh, is just step into it and see what it does. And you can see that I have this really not expected view that I ended up in the constructor for I'm back because of course I'm creating a vector somewhere here in this call. Okay, so what I can do is just come here and then step into begin table again. And then here again, I'm creating a string. So I'm the constructor for this string and not really what I expect it to be. So I can just try again. And then finally, I'm actually where I want to be, which is the some begin table calls. And then I can just go further here. But as you can see, this experience cannot be very welcome for people who are just onboarding your new project or just trying to understand something because it can be quite overwhelming. You're hitting a lot of these different constructors and specific implementation details of your project. Also, as a shout out before I can continue, one workaround that you can do for this particular situation is that you can actually right click and then step into specific and then pick whatever function you want to actually step here. So if I do begin table, you can see that I have the same thing as before, and then I can go here and do crazy stuff with it. But anyway, there's something even fancier that you can do, and I'm going to show you what it is. So first step here, I'm going to pause, and then I'm going to open the Solution Explorer. And there is this one neat file that I want to copy, which is called that step filter. So I'm going to copy here this project. And now that it needs, it needs to be on the source uh, with the project similar to NetVis, for example, if you ever use that. And then here, what I did, they actually have this in the IMU repo. And you might even argue that you can always use NetStep filters before in Visual Studio. But you can see here, even in the instructions, you have to copy into a particular document's folder path. So again, for new users just onboarding in your project, this can be quite overwhelming that one of the steps is just copying random files that are around your machine. But now, with 17.6 Visual Studio, we provide a nice way that you can simply have this in your project under virtual control. And then if you click to debug again, it's going to pick up this exact file. And just for the specifics, you can see here that it's actually specifying the name for IVAC2 and I'm string and an action for not stepping into it. And I even added something else just for myself that I didn't want to stop anymore on any of the overloading plus operators or any of overloading operators really. So I just added to not step into those and this works very nicely. So if I have here again my demo and then again, I can just open the same begin table. And this time uh, I won't do anything fancy. I'm just simply going to step into again. And then you can see I'm actually what I want to be and I didn't need to do anything. All I had to do was just clone and this file would already be here in this repo and I can have a much more pleasant debugging experience. And this is it. Uh, I hope you learned something from it. And if you want more follow-up information, there's the Twitter handle for VS Debugger that I highly recommend.